Okay, I was hoping that would take the entire cozy, but it didn't. So let's play something else. Uh, let's play the Alien Cube. I don't know what that is. Let's find out together. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Is it bad? I got no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. We will see. Oh, geez. One second. Okay. Wait, why can I continue? Oh, I think it just goes to chapter one. Okay. No, I haven't. Uh, Linnefeld, no. I will update my Twitter as, you know, if, if, um, if there's any Letho news, which I hope there will be. Hopefully some positive good Letho news. Yep. Hopefully. You will see. Oh, it's just a pool of human parts. Okay. The man in the picture is me. How's that possible? What is that place? Snapcat. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you, Snapcat. We're getting there. The sickness is getting better, but you know. Yeah.
seems to be a gear missing. Okay. What's going on? Was I dreaming? Oh, what time is it? It's 8 a.m. Nights are troubled by sudden and unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Immediately afterwards, bathed in sweat, I feel terribly tired of an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something unsettling, I don't, upsetting I don't remember. The break up with Jenny, the move, and finally my Edgar, Uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I had expected, considering the unclear nature of the facts. But the newspaper report is very strange indeed. Only God knows what happened to him. My new home hasn't helped the situation. Perhaps it's too early. I need more time. at the door oh it's probably the postman nice bathroom dude damn look at that
Arthur, my dear nephew, if you're reading this letter, it means that I'm gone. I gave instructions to a close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know and I'm sorry for that. My life changed a lot and I'm only a shadow of the man you knew when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me. As you know, I have never married or had children, so I decided to leave you with my possessions, even though I don't own a lot. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at number 13 Oldwood, Oldwood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I cannot afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you will probably find some things you won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without question. I'm referring in particular to my manuscripts. They are very personal, and as you perhaps have been told, writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you, therefore, not to read them and to delve into my research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. You will find the apartment key in this envelope. Do what you desire with it, but I beg you to respect my last wish. No. Okay. Good talk, Uncle Edgar. No. Rogatis cassette player, nice. The land of pain. This game. Oh, we're obviously gonna read all of them, yes. Oh, I can't go out in my pajamas? Dude, just such a square. What a square. Hey, side down. Is this a demo? Uh, I don't think so. I think this is a full game. The apartment. Top floor, of course. Of course. Oh, Jesus. I died here. Oh, well. Okay. Lights were on all this time. Okay, we need a tool to open the grate. After many years, I returned to the old family home. Unfortunately, when I arrived, I saw nothing of the house that was left. Everything had been reduced to a sad pile of rubble. However, it was there amongst all the debris that I found this strange chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was exquisitely crafted, made from fine wood and decorated with strange geometric symbols that I'd never seen before. At first, I didn't notice this, as when I was a child, I was used to seeing all kinds of bizarre objects around the house, found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. His chest, however, had something sinister and mysterious about it, so I decided to extract it from the debris and try to open it. I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock at my discovery, because what I found inside that terrible chest is not something that could belong to this world. It's locked.
Damn, I was jamming out. Okay. What in the hell? Uh... Why would you eat that? game chronically leaves open refrigerators and it's driving me crazy. I think that dude kicked me in the head. Well. <gasps> The disappearance of old William's son, Edgar, caused us quite a few problems. It has been hard to keep track of every officer, but unfortunately they didn't find out anything at the seat of the fire. The purpose of that building must remain secret at all costs. The moment the case is in the hands of our men and the police, the detective won't set foot in our territories anymore. However, we must find out what happened to Edgar and close the case before someone else snoops around. We'll start by checking his apartment. We have proof of the existence of the God's Eye. The priestess was right. During the inspection of Edgar's apartment, we found some papers belonging to his father, old William. Everything suggests that he was in possession of the sacred artifact without us knowing it. How is it possible such a trusted member of the Order betrayed us? All signs point to a location out of town where it's hidden. Hmm. Thanks for the years of entertainment. You and this community have helped me through some hard times. Keep on keeping on from Ken. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate you, buddy. Screwdriver. Oh, the guy in here was doing tons of drugs. Ew. Looks like some sort of cocoon. Did I finish Folia? I did.
After that horrific discovery, finding the answers to my questions became a real obsession, so I started to study my father's old papers in depth. My research uncovered the existence of a mysterious order. Its origins are extremely ancient, but apparently it still exists today. Indeed, I found clear references to it in my father's notes. It seems he was even a member. I also found that in addition to the old cabin in the mountains, my father owned many other properties scattered around the area. I didn't even know. Why didn't he tell me? There's one place in particular that was very important to him, and it seems that he did everything to keep it a secret. I made a map showing its location. I'm going to go there immediately. Big gate brief. Why is the last phobia vid private? I have no idea. The uh, YouTube guys are probably doing some testing or something. Probably still processing. Ooh. Well, this game's kind of interesting so far. Hey, Tamachi. Is this the right way? The engine's still warm. Grandfather's property should be behind that old building over there. 